Hi, I'm Eric Cuthbert and I've been coming here to the University of Manitoba since 2008 where I acquired my bachelor's degree in science. At first I was thinking of going to medicine but then this position opened up for grad studies in chemistry that I decided to take and I do not regret it at all as I thoroughly enjoy it. Now the research that we're doing likely affects your life directly or indirectly by the use of plastic commodities nearly every day, but more specifically polyolefin plastics. By finding use in automotive components, structural materials, shopping bags, packaging materials, textiles, and far more, polyolefin plastics have become very important in modern society. Now most of us know of these plastics as synthetic materials that can be processed in many shapes and take on diverse properties such as being strong and rigid or weak and flexible. Now the reason why these plastics can be so diverse, yet being composed out of only carbon and hydrogen atoms, is because they are made of polymers. Effectively, polymers are really large molecules that are composed of building blocks called monomers that connect to one another in a process called polymerization. By varying the building blocks that you use, how they physically connect to one another, and by varying how, the belt, uh, how large the polymer becomes, is how we can have such diverse plastics being made out of only two types of atoms. Now, on an industrial scale, the polyolefin plastics are made with metal catalysts. So fixed metal atoms from certain part of the periodic table help increase the rate of polymerization. Additionally, these catalysts also help influence polymer structure by influencing how the monomers connect to one another within the polymer and by controlling how long the polymer becomes. These aspects of polymer structure have great impact on properties of the plastics, such as its strength, rigidity, and melting temperature, and are therefore crucial to control when making plastics for different applications. Although the catalysts used by industry now are very efficient and have good control, industry still desires new types of catalysts that can exert more control over polymer structure in order to make better polyolefin plastics. This is where we step in. So our research involves investigating new types of organometallic catalysts, where group four metal atoms like zirconium, titanium, and hafnium are surrounded by an organic molecule that affects the metal's reactivity. But before we actually make any new catalyst, we subject them to computer simulations to see whether or not it's likely to exert the right polymeric structure control that we want. If it is hopeful, we then make the catalyst in the lab, along with variations of the catalyst, where strategic structural differences are made to the molecule that surrounds and affects the metal atom. Once we have acquired enough catalysts, we travel to Italy and with our partners there, use high throughput devices in order to subject the catalyst to polymerization experiments and to determine their polymer structure. From this data, we can then start to figure out what differences between the catalysts cause which differences between their polymer structures and therefore differences between their plastics properties. So in result of our research, we hope to provide a family of tunable catalysts where one can make different plastics by making strategic structural changes to the catalyst knowing what the outcome of the plastic is going to be. By having more control, we can uh, create more of the polymer that we want and creating less wasteful byproduct. And with more control, we can make better use of non-renewable starting materials in order to create polyolefin plastics that have better enhanced properties.